everyone, it's Rihanna and welcome back to another top 5 video. This is actually my top 5 guilty pleasure movies. Who doesn't love a good guilty pleasure? You know it's awful, but you love it anyway. Like my DVD shelf, it's all just full of guilty pleasure movies. I actually saw this video originally on Adele from Roll Credits channel, I'll leave her video down below and she did it in collaboration with another cool YouTuber who I really like and I'll leave her down below as well. And yeah, I love a good guilty pleasure, I love a good 80s movie because that era was pretty much all guilty pleasures. So today I'm going to share my top 5 with you and I'm not even ashamed to say that I love these movies. Coming in at number 5 we have The House Bunny. Now I could have chose any chick flick. She's the man, John Tucker must die, I love them all. It's literally just my whole shelf is chick flicks. I'm joking, I have a lot of good films on there. But I do love a good chick flick. And out of all of them I'll have to say that The House Bunny is probably the dumbest. It is. It's the dumbest, the dumbest comedy, but it's still hilarious. Like, Anna Ferris in this movie is hilarious. Her character, Shelley, I can't even explain it, but she's just hilarious. And Emma Stone's in the movie as well. And any movie with Emma Stone is just fantastic. The House Bunny bases itself around the character of Shelley, played by Anna Ferris, who is a retired bunny from the Playboy Mansion, who decides that she's gonna be the mother of a sorority and change these girls' lives because they're kind of losers and she wants to make them hot and stuff. And it's the lamest thing ever, but you know, I enjoy it just for the comedy and just for the stupidity of it all, and I'm not even ashamed. I'm not even ashamed because this movie has one of the best transition scenes from being like not hot to hot, in my opinion. It's really bad, but oh well. Coming in at number four is Troy. Now, who doesn't love a good epic battle scene? And Brad Pitt and Orlando Bloom and Eric Banner all in one movie that's about Troy and the Trojan horse and Greek mythology. I'm, I'm a sucker for Greek mythology, Egyptian mythology, anything mythology. And Troy has some epic battle sequences. And Brad Pitt, I had such a crush on him when I was kind of like, in my early teens watching Troy. And yeah, Troy is really badly written, but the fight scenes are epic. And I do love a good fight scene that's like in 300 or Immortals. Slow-mo fight scenes, yes please. The thing about Troy is whenever it's on TV or a movies channel, I will have to put Troy on. And I've seen it so many times and I know how bad it is, but I just cannot stop watching it. I love the battle scenes and I love the whole romance crap going on. It's just one of those movies you can't help but love. Number three on the list is a film called Jennifer's Body, which stars Megan Fox and Amanda Seyfried. Seyfried. I still don't know how to say her name. Anyway, it bases itself around two teenagers, Jennifer and Needy, who are best friends. And Jennifer's like the hot one, Needy's like the geeky one. And they go to a concert one night and this band is trying to get famous. And to get famous, they sacrifice Jennifer to the devil to become famous. And they become famous and everything starts going wrong with Jennifer and she starts killing boys. This movie is awful but there were some things when I first watched it that really really creeped me out. The thing about Jennifer's Body it's kind of a teen horror but it turns more into a teen comedy when you look at the writing and the acting because it's so comical at points and you know I'm all about those teenage high school movies and when I first saw it I don't think I'd ever seen a high school movie that had done that that had done kind of the horror genre where this girl gets possessed. Well, I haven't seen Carrie and I haven't seen a lot of horror films. So that's probably why. But Jennifer's Body like surprised me when I first watched it because I really, really liked it. I like the concept and I like the characters and the script, even though it's terrible. Yeah, I really liked Jennifer's Body. Number two on my list is Sucker Punch, which is a film directed by Zack Schneider. Let me explain people, just let me explain, okay? So the concept of this film is great, I love it. I love all the badass chicks, I love the cyberpunk vibes and the themes of the film and just how dark and creepy it is, but it was executed so badly, the ending was awful, everything didn't really tie up. However, I still really do like Sucker Punch for its whole creepiness and cyberpunk vibes. The part where they try and give her a lobotomy genuinely scared me for life. I do not like needles, I don't like eyes, so those things mixed together was horrible. That scene in general was worse than most horror films I've ever watched, honestly. I was scared to death. And I still find it creepy these days. I think the concept's really great. I love the costuming and I said I love the cyberpunk vibes. I haven't watched it in a while actually, but I remember seeing it for the first time and just really loving the styling of it. Um, yeah, Zack Schneider can be a hit and miss director and writer, 
but Sucker Punch failed because, you know, the ending, the execution, it was not good. However, it's got some really cool characters and costumes and I really like the fantasy element of it. So I'm not really ashamed to say that I like Sucker Punch. Number one on my guilty pleasure list is two movies that I've seen so many times because we're not going to count the third one because no one really does. And that is The Mummy and The Mummy Returns starring Brendan Fraser and Rachel Weisz. Brendan Fraser as an actor is actually just a general guilty pleasure. I mean, Fairy Vengeance. Mighty Joe Young, Looney Tunes back in action. Yeah, Brendan Fraser doesn't do good things. Rachel Weisz does, not Brendan Fraser. They are funny movies, okay? There's adventure, there's laughs, there's John Hanna, who I love in these movies, playing Jonathan, there's romance. Everything you want in just a cheesy comedy action movie, I guess. The CGI is not great whatsoever. The third one is awful. We're not even gonna talk about the third one, cause no. There are actually some parts of the Mummy movies that I think are great, like that tidal wave where Imhotep's put his face into it and he's like floating about trying to get their son, and that fight scene between Imhotep's lover and the incarnation of Evie. That thing, yeah, like what even was that? You just can't help loving the cheesy action comedy that is in The Mummy. You can't help loving John Hanna and Brendan Fraser when he screams right in Imhotep's face. You can't help but love that scene where Jonathan tries to impersonate the followers of Imhotep when he's trying to be a zombie, because it's just comedy gold. And those are the very shameful reasons why I like The Mummy movies. Give me hate all you want, I don't even care. So guys, that was my top five guilty pleasure movies. Let me know what your guilty pleasure movies are down below in the comments. I would love to hear from you. And what did you think about my picks? Do you like Sucker Punch as much as I do, shamelessly? If you liked this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel for all movie and TV things. All my social media links will be down below in the description. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you very soon. Bye.